the DV5 deluge valve with dry pilot actuation. The model DV5 deluge valve is a diaphragm style valve that depends upon water pressure in the diaphragm chamber to hold the diaphragm closed against the water supply pressure. The system is shown ready for dry pilot actuation. The dry pilot detection system piping contains air under pressure shown here in yellow. The water supply contains water under pressure shown here in blue. This is also connected to the diaphragm chamber, the dry pilot actuator and the manual control station. Air open to atmosphere is in three locations shown here in orange. 1. The system pipe to the open sprinklers or nozzles. 2. The water flow pressure alarm switch and automatic drain valve trim. 3. The trim which connects the automatic shutoff valve. When a fire sets off a dry pilot sprinkler, air pressure is released from the pneumatic pressure pilot line. In turn, the dry pilot actuator opens and releases water from the diaphragm chamber faster than it can be replenished through the 1 8 inch restriction in the automatic shutoff valve. The rapid pressure drop in the diaphragm chamber allows the diaphragm to open Water flows through the system to the sprinklers and the water flow pressure alarm switch, activating the alarm. Water also passes through the trim to the automatic shutoff valve to close this valve. Once closed, it will prevent the diaphragm chamber from becoming inadvertently repressurized. Let's take a look at the system in action. To reset the valve after the fire is under control, the main supply valve is manually closed to shut off the water supply, and the diaphragm chamber supply valve is also closed. Then the main drain valve and the system drain valve are open to drain water from the system. Once the system stops discharging water, close all drains except the main drain valve. Depress the plunger of the automatic drain valve to verify that it is open and the system is drained. Clean the Y strainer in the diaphragm chamber supply connection trim. Reset the dry pilot actuation system by replacing operated pilot sprinklers and re-establishing dry pilot pneumatic pressure. Open the diaphragm chamber supply valve so the diaphragm chamber can return to full pressure. Finally, slowly open the main supply valve and close the main drain once water begins to discharge from the drain. The system is then ready to return to service.